But we couldn't have dreamt of a better semi-final scenario. It's been the perfect storm, really, for the Stormers and the Stormers fans as we get a home semi-final and a derby game to boot. Gio Aplon, Joe Peterson, two guys that I'm sure must be weighing up the season to some extent, but you surely must be focused on tomorrow. How are the nerves? Do you guys get nervous for these sorts of occasions? Where is the head at this kind of time? I think your head is about it. You know, what you need to do. I think, like, like the captain said, everyone needs to know what they, what they need to do. I think there's a bit of nerves, but a lot of excitement. Being back at Newlands for our third semi-final in three years. So really, really excited, but a little bit nervous. I the stats certainly favor the home side in the semi-finals. Gio spoke about roles. That has been so vital for the Stormers that you guys have clicked even when injuries have come into play, even when breaks have had to be taken. You guys really have gelled as a squad, not just a team on the field. Yeah, I think if we've got uh, talented individuals um, who gels as a team, it's, it's even better than having a you know, a bunch of talented guys that doesn't play well together. So, fortunately for us, it's been it's been working nicely, and the guys stepping in has been has been doing really well. So, we're fortunate in that regard. Now, you know, a lot has been spoken about the bonus points issues and the scoring of tries, and I think we we now understand that it hasn't been a case of sacrificing attack at the expense of defence. But this is the kind of strategy that has won you through. How much? of that strategy and the way that the season has played out is going to help you now in the knockout stages where you generally have to grind out a win. I know it, 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 in the season it sound, sounded a bit arrogant, we're not getting bonus tries and we just wanted to win. But I think that's, that's essentially what you need in a semi-final going into a final or in the knockout stages. You just need to win your games. And I think we've, we've got that lesson be, behind us. Um, We've, we've been in a couple of tight situations where we pulled one, once through and hopefully that experience can pull us through in, in the knockout stages. Is there a winning culture in the Stormers camp at the moment? You seem to win even by default, even when the chips are down, you've been able to pull out the victories. Is that a mindset that you think has sunk in? Yeah, I think everyone tries, tries to coach that or want to bring that into a province, but um, I think the more you win, the more you want to win. So we've tried to create that culture where you want to win, and I mean, now it's become quite important to win because it's knockout stages and you, one, one loss is a gone. Eh, you... Well, this is it. It could be history in the making tomorrow. Let's talk about your opponents. The Sharks have looked really good since coming back from the Springbok break. Their Springbok stars are certainly performing. Gio, what are you expecting from the back line? How, how are you going to meet them? And, and what are you looking forward to in terms of that encounter? I think they're, they're a couple of brilliant individuals, and not just brilliant individuals, they're a brilliant team. They've got the momentum behind them. They've just beaten the defending, cha the defending champions. They've got a lot of Springboks in their team. I think it's a huge challenge for us in, in our backyard. But again, we, we're really excited. Um, it's going to be a huge challenge. They, they're really um, good individuals and also a good team. And, and as a unit, as a backline, they're really playing well. So yeah, a huge challenge for us tomorrow, but the one we're really looking forward to. The message is, got to get the ball to the back line from the forwards. You're going to need that feeling now. The fans, I got to experience what it's like to be in Newlands, to see the team being carried, especially for those last few seconds of a game where it becomes all fan related. You've had some unbelievable support this season. Yeah, I think um, we can't say thank you enough for, for the support we've got. Um, we've got uh, the highest average of supporters throughout the competition for a couple of years now. And I mean, it, um, as a supporter, you don't realize how much influence you have on the game and on the players in the way they support. Well, we're about to make one particular fan realize just how important you are to the Stormers and to Expresso. We've got a couple of finalists on the line. Let's speak to our winner. My producer is selecting Nadima. Good morning. Oh, what? Good morning. Nadima Abdeen, congratulations. <laughs> A big congratulations from Gio and Joe, who are in studio with me as we speak. Is there anything you'd like to say to them before you join us on the yellow couch on the field tomorrow? Oh, thank you so much. I really want to be my life. Thank you. And I'm here and John, well, I'm 100% behind the stores. Um, I'm going to be there to support you guys, and I'm going to shout for you guys. <laughs> oh, well, well done. We look forward to getting to know you tomorrow at the Super Rugby semi-final at Newlands. Congratulations, Nadima. Um, Thank you. See, now, this is the kind of fan you guys have.
Now, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, bright and early, there is an opportunity to pick up 100 golden tickets to that semi-final. Now, just to spice things up, the Espresso team is going to get down there and we're going to give away one more seat on that yellow couch. But you've got to prove to us that you are not only the ultimate Stormers fan, but you're also the ultimate Espresso fan. You can use a Bob motif, any vehicle, but you have got to stand out in a crowd of hundreds, possibly thousands, that are going to be outside Newlands tomorrow morning, hoping for their chance to get into that final. We'll be there. And don't forget, you can bring your secondhand clothes as well, a great initiative. You can donate right outside the stadium. So a big thank you to the Newlands Supporters Club, to Western Province Rugby, to the Stormers, and to the boys, guys. Good luck. Do you your fans proud tomorrow, but thank you so much for thank taking you. a time out. All right, Leanne is standing by. Our crazy Friday continues.